Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome if you are new here. My name is Olivia, I'm at Olivia Rose on Instagram. If you're on there, I'd love it if you went over there and gave me a follow on there as well. And please do click subscribe to my channel if you love watching hauls because I post loads of hauls and the occasional vlog as well. Today I have a H&M haul and I'm so excited to do this one because number one, I'm gonna be posting it on Black Friday slash Cyber Week. So hopefully by the time I've posted it, the sale will be live. I'll be keeping an eye on on when things are going into the sale. So as soon as H&M do go into sale, I'll be clicking, what's the button? I'll be clicking public, post, whatever the button is. Um, and I also have a few bits from and other stories to show you here as well, because I just thought if you like H&M, then you probably like other stories. So I may as well show you them now as well. The reason why I'm excited is because I had Christmas in mind when purchasing these things. I've got some really gorgeous knits, some things that would be good to give as gifts, I think, and also some bits that would be gorgeous to wear on Christmas Day. As per usual, everything I show you will be linked down below in the description box. I'd absolutely love it if you did want to purchase any of it. If you do go through my links, they are affiliate links that I use, which means that I will earn a small commission if you buy anything um, that I've linked, basically. So I think I'm gonna start by showing you my favorite item, which is from And Other Stories. So it's this loungewear set. It's an absolutely gorgeous beige wool. You can see in it, it's kind of flex, it's got like flex within it, if you get me, uh, which is really, really nice. The hoodie is a great shape. It's like slightly cropped. Um, and I think that's great. I think that's probably the most flattering, especially to wear with matching joggers. Um, now these joggers are the thing that I'm most excited about because they seem so high-waisted and like nice and snug around the waist. And then the leg part looks like it gets nice and wide. And then again, we get um, cuffs at the bottom. I just think it's divine. Um, I'm not gonna lie, this is a very expensive loungewear set. I think it's 95 pound per piece. So it comes in at like around two, yeah, around 200 pounds for the set. So I'm definitely gonna be keeping this one for kind of like special occasions, maybe Christmas day, maybe Christmas Eve, or to wear it out and about um, rather than just kind of like slobbing around the house in it. Definitely gonna try styling this with like a blazer and some white trainers or something like that. Okay, moving on to the pieces I picked up from H&M. I've gone a bit knitwear crazy. I think that knitwear though does make a really, really nice Christmas gift because it's one of those things that you can buy oversized and slouchy. You don't have to like worry about it fitting somebody. And also it's just such like a cozy and thoughtful gift to give. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. The first piece of knitwear I've picked up is this cream knit and it's almost like a fuzzy, um, yeah, like a fuzzy wool, uh, but it's incredibly soft. And I went quite oversized in this one, I think. Let me see what size I got. Yeah, so I sized up to a medium just because I thought that would be really nice with some leather trousers. Um, oh, and I've also got another cream knit, which is on the slightly smaller side. So I didn't want to get one like that was identical, but this one, I think when knits are oversized, you definitely style them in a completely different way. Um, so yeah, I definitely don't mind having two cream knit roll necks. <laughs> um, and it also has like wider cuffs. I think this jump is gonna be really, really gorgeous to dress up slightly. So I'm thinking pair it with gold jewelry. I'm thinking pair it with your leather trousers. You could even like tuck in the front and wear a nice belt and maybe some um, boot heels or normal heels or something like that. It's not like a statement piece and it's definitely not trend led. So I think it's gonna be one of those pieces that I wear like all the time, year after year. Okay, next up, I think these are definitely gonna make such nice gifts. So the first thing is this wool blend beanie hat. It's like a really nice beige color. It goes really nicely with this color, actually. It's just like a lighter version of it. Um, but yeah, it's again, that kind of like fuzzy wool. It's very like stretchy and like, I don't feel like it would ruin your hair when you've got it on. It would just like sit on top of it nicely, which is something I like in a beanie hat. I quite often wear a hat when it's raining to keep my hair dry rather than just as like a keeping me warm thing. Anyway, um, I also got this scarf because I thought it looked like it would go really nicely and it definitely does. Um, and I also just love the way scarves look at the moment. It's really, really cheap. I've actually got this in grey as well and it's only 9 99 and it's such a good shape and size. Like you can really wrap it around to make it look really bulky even though it's only that wide. Um, it's also a great length and it's got nice tassels on the bottom um, and it comes in quite a few colours so it's quite a good one, quite a good discovery I think. And then the last little kind of like knitted accessory I got are these uh, wool blend socks. So I thought that these would be a nice gift. I'm thinking of my mum, but 
Hi mum, you're probably watching this video so I'm going to keep these socks for me. <laughs> but I just thought these are nice socks to go inside of boots and also just like for around the house. Because I really like a warm sock to chill in. But I just, there's something I can't stand about a cheap like furry Primark kind of sock. So I think these, these are a bit of me. Actually, while we're on like the gift ideas topic, I got these from And Other Stories. So this is a little pot with a candle in. It looks like it's really, really coming up bright on my camera, but you might be able to see that. It's got like gold writing on a pink sticker on the box, and then inside is similar. So it's got the same pink tag with gold writing. Anyway, it's a absolutely stunning smell. Like, it's almost floral, but also like aftershave-y as well. Um, I can't quite work it out. I also can't read out what it's called, but I will link it down below. It's really, really nice, and I think it was a good price as well. Like, um... I'm gonna say around 20 quid, maybe less than that. And then I also picked up this. It is like a little body scrub, which I also thought would make a nice gift. It's, I keep smelling it on camera as if that's gonna make a difference to you. Um, but yeah, it's just like a, I think it's a cocoa butter, milky coconut, cruising seas of warm vanilla and sweet caramel. Oh my God. I could literally eat that, it smells amazing. But yeah, it's just like a little pot of body scrub. I thought also that would make a nice gift. And another one is this hand soap. So they've got quite a few like um, different, like hand soap, body wash, hand cream, all in these nice pots. And they all smell really, really nice as well. They're like, um, what's it called? What's the brand that sells soap like this? I can't think right now, but um, it's pretty much a copy of that. And I think it's cheaper. So I was on the lookout for little tops, like this kind of one that I'm wearing now, which is from Zara, by the way, and the shoulder pads are actually really annoying me, so I may cut them out, because I feel like when it moves there, it looks really weird, but I don't know, let me know what you think. Should I cut the shoulder pads out? I wish you lot could reply to me, like, here and now, but do comment below. Um, so anyway, I bought this top. It's just like a white t-shirt with a cool neckline, um, and I just thought that would be really handy for, like, Filming videos is basically what I bought it for, but obviously you lot probably don't film videos, I don't know. But I think it would be a nice top just for like day-to-day -day life with something a little bit interesting about the neckline. Um, I think that just gives it like more of like a modern edge to it. Um, also would be really, really nice to dress up. You could wear it with leather trousers and heels or something like that. Um, yeah, it's just an easy wear to be honest, and it was like 9 99 or something. And it also comes in black. The only thing I have found about it is that it is like really, really see-through. Um, I wore like a nude bra that I've got from M&S, which is just oh so sexy, and that was completely fine. So if you've got nude underwear, then um, wear that with this. Okay, I'm so excited about this cardigan. This is like a long maxi cardigan. It's got a split up the side. Um, and how nice is that colour? I absolutely love it. And I think in it, in a kind of like Scandi way, this is a really Christmassy colour, especially when you pair it with like something a bit more glitz, like your jewellery, um, and wear it with like nice makeup. This would be a nice Christmas day outfit because you could wear it as a dress, um, but equally you could wear it like open with something really casual when you're not wearing it as a dress. So I just think it's a really versatile piece. It comes with a belt. So that's going to be really, really flattering and also means that if you're a bit shorter then you can tie it up and kind of ruche it over. Um, I almost wish I was a bit shorter so that I could do that. I am five foot, yeah, five foot six by the way, um, just if you're wondering for like reference of how things are going to fit you. Also the buttons, what are the buttons? They're kind of like mainly black but with an almost like a fleck of tortoise shell. Um, I think this is going to be really nice with leather leggings and chunky boots as well. Oh, I just can't wait to style this. I feel like I'm going to have so many ways to style it. So such a nice, like, heavy wool blend. It's from their premium quality range, so I always know that stuff from there is amazing quality. I've actually got a pair of leather chunky boots from their premium quality range. Um, I'll probably wear them together, but, oh my god, actually now I'm going to wear my over-the-knee boots with it. Anyway, moving on. Um all of their stuff from premium quality is amazing and they have black chunky boots if you see them and get them they're like fleece lined and so comfy in fact i will link them down below as well so also in that same color and i think from like the same range so i'm pretty sure it's like the exact same um wool as the other one this v-neck jumper i thought this would be really nice to wear like kind of off the shoulder just as like a really casual loose jumper um, also thinking with gold jewellery, I've got this necklace here, which is also from Other Stories. It's a gold chain with like a pearl on the end, 
Um, it's very much like costume jewellery, it's not good quality at all. What actually, I think it's like something like £20 or something, so like it's, you wouldn't wear it all the time, it's something that you would definitely just wear for the day and take it off and put it away. Um, and then I've kind of rolled up the sleeves like that just because I think it gives that more kind of slouchy jumper feel. Um, again though, you could definitely dress this up, leather trousers and boot heels or heels. And I'm also thinking, so I've got this like silver slip skirt. I think this would be really, really cute with that skirt and um, maybe a Christmas day outfit idea again. Um, the skirt is from Weekday. Um, I'll also link that below if they've got it in stock just if you're thinking that that would be a nice outfit So I love how at the back the V is like continued. I just think it's really really nice um, Details like within the jumper. Okay, so next up I got this sequin top I mean, I thought I was over sequins But then as soon as we come back to this time of year, I'm like I just need sequins in my life This is like a really really simple shape top. We've got like a normal sleeve Which is kind of slightly like drop shoulder. So it's got that still like casual slouchy shape to it But it's just covered in sequins, which I think is very cool it's high neck, um, so I'm thinking I'll probably wear my hair similar to how I have it now. Maybe put a bit more effort into it. Um, and then probably just like tuck it in at the front to like a pair of jeans or something. And it's just going to make a really easy like dressy outfit. And it's also like not too much for celebrations at home. So if somebody's having like dinner and drinks, obviously when we're out of lockdown, this is going to be the perfect outfit for that. Um, because it's just, yeah, it's not too much and you can dress it down with jeans or you can probably dress it up. In fact, I think, I feel like I'm talking so fast because I'm really excited about all of these things, but I'm pretty sure they're about to bring out a matching skirt to this. So yeah, look out for that. If it's out, I will link it down below. Um, you can either wear them both together and it would look like such a nice dress or two piece, or you could just wear like one or the other with something a bit more casual, like the skirt would look really nice with a knit. Um, if it was out, I would have ordered it, but it's not. So next up, I got this cream cardigan. So I've got quite a few cardigans um, this season, but I didn't have one which was like properly oversized and boxy like this one is. This is like a perfect working from home cardigan because you can just wear it like on its own or with a bralette underneath it or something and just do it completely up and then just wear it with a pair of leather trousers um, and then you can also just like dress it up. You could put a roll neck underneath it if you've got like a thin... Um, thin like knitted roll neck maybe in like grey or a cream would be nice underneath it or black or something like that um, and then just wear it with like leather trousers or trousers or jeans it's very versatile um, I also think this was a really really good price um, oh 57% recycled polyester so I assume it's from their conscious range um, so yeah it's a really nice shape actually it's got like nice details like a little split there it's got a line down the back um, yeah, I'm just really pleased with that actually. So what I was also thinking is it would be quite cool to layer the sequin top with the cardigan. Um, I just think it dresses it down, it makes it like really cool. It's something very different. I don't ever see people pairing tops like this with cardigans. Um, so yeah, when I had the idea, I just thought that would be really, really cute. So I think, yeah, just a nice way to dress down the um, sequin top, but still have a bit of that Christmas glitz. So next up, I feel like you're all going to absolutely love this jumper. So I picked up this cable knit um, roll neck and look at that really nice, almost like plait detail across the front. I feel like it's the sort of jumper that my dad used to wear like years and years ago, um, which is maybe why I was drawn to it. But it's a really nice oat colour and it's just chunky and like cosy and cute. Um, and I feel like that's the sort of jumper that I wear like every day. I also like how it's a slightly dark colour, um, not dark, but darker colour. So we can almost get away with the fact that inevitably there's going to be foundation on the um, collar, but you probably won't be able to see it very much, which is going to be so handy. Um, but this, I'm just thinking how perfect is that for like winter walks. So and then the back is just like a plain knit. I'm almost a bit upset that they've done that, but... Um, I guess, I don't know why they've done that actually. I wish the cable knit went all the way around really, but anyway, um, yeah, we have a plain back. <laughs> okay, so that brings me to the end of the haul. 
Um, do keep an eye out for the videos that I'm putting up or maybe have already put up throughout Cyber Week because I am actually uploading seven weeks, uh, seven weeks? Seven videos in seven days. Um, so yeah, if you are interested in shopping for Cyber Week then do check out the rest of my videos and also I'm going to be really active over on my Instagram story so maybe head over there to give me a follow as well. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the video and found some pieces to purchase. Um, do let me know down below if you did buy anything and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, anyway, thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys again soon.